we are going to be doing some bleaching today. My first attempt at bleaching a system. I won't be bleaching the whole thing. I think that would be crazy. I'm just going to be bleaching the knots at the front. So you might find this quite useful. Before I really crack on with this, if you are enjoying my content, please do subscribe to my channel. You don't have to, but you might find it useful if you're a system wearer or if you're thinking of getting systems. I make plenty of content, so please do hit that subscribe button. Please do hit the thumbs up as well. Today, I will be using one of my old pieces because I'm not brave enough to do it on my current piece. It's quite new. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to risk that. So I'm going to be doing this on an old hair piece, which is, if you've seen my videos before, you might have seen my Zakia review video. I really hope I pronounced that right, Zakia. Um, but yeah, this is the system from them, which I reviewed a couple of months back. So I'm literally going to be bleaching the front, the first inch here, uh, basically to give the front of the system a more natural look. Um, before I really delve into this, it's really important, if you're going to do this yourself, number one, do it in your bathroom. It could make an absolute mess. Um, I know that if I did it in here, in my bedroom, then and I made a mess, my girlfriend would hit the roof, and I'd probably be out on my ass for a couple of weeks. So number one, do it in the bathroom. Number two, wear clothes that you're not going to be needing to wear out. I call them home clothes. As you can see with this particular jumper, it's got some bleach somewhere, as you can see there. So I'm not going to be wearing this out anywhere. Um, I think that was... I can't even remember. I had to clean something with bleach and that was the end result. Uh, I've also got... What is the name of it? I've got hair dye. You're going to need hair dye if you're going to do this, obviously. So I'm using Schwarzkopf. I think that's Slovenian. I've no idea what language this is, but I got it off Amazon and it's called Blonde Ultra Ofhola. If anyone's Slovenian or Dutch or whatever language this is, please enlighten me because I've no idea what that means. But I think it translates to Schwarzkopf Blonde Ultra Activator or something. I will drop the link in the description below. Um, I apologize for my terrible use of other languages. I only speak English, I'm really lazy, sorry about that. Um, but I did watch a YouTube video, which I'll also put in the description box below which basically explains how to use this particular dye. I had to watch it a couple of times because I've never used this before, but it comes with a few different things. So it comes with this bottle, um, which is, oh, it's English on here. Uh, applicator bottle with developer lotion. Okay, so this is the developer lotion, whatever that means. So you're gonna wanna open that up. It comes with, oh, there's a little thing. So you're gonna have to take this out as well, if you can see that. So you're going to need to push that through, um, that's out now, and this is the cre cream creme decolorant, it looks like that. I assume that is part of the dye. Um, no English on this one, but there is Dutch, it's very confusing. Um, so according to the video, what you do comes with gloves as well. Make sure you wear gloves. I'm going to put on my gloves now, I need to set a good example here, because we're working with bleach people and bleach can sting if you get it on your skin. So make sure before you start all of this that you get the gloves out. You've got your bottle, you've got the crema de colorant. I'm hoping that wherever you live in the world you can get something that's actually done in English. I don't know why Amazon sent me one that was in a foreign language and I have had to watch YouTube videos to get exactly what I need to do. This is blocked at the top, so it's sealed. So you want to get a pen and just ah, unseal it. Perfect. And it should look like a sort of light blue colour like this. And what you want to be doing is with this, you just squeeze this into the bottle like so. 
it's really quite easy. And it should just start filling up the bottle like that. The great thing is that you don't actually need anything else. Everything in the box is all you need to do this dyeing. Um, oh, that really smells bad. Don't smell that. Stinks. And then it comes with a sachet, which is just called uh, the, the Blonde Booster. So I assume this is like the activator, um, which you also need to put in this tub. I'll need a scissors, so I'll put that in there. And oh, okay. So you've got your what do you call this? Like a an applicator bottle. So you've got your applicator bottle. You just want to. This could get quite tricky. And then you've also got your nozzle, which you just screw on at the top. And then you sort of just squeeze it a little bit, to get that all sort of mixed up. Now there's quite a lot in here. I will not need all of this just for the one application. So I'm guessing you can probably use this quite a few times. It might last you quite a while. So given that we're only gonna be doing the front, we're only gonna be doing the front inch of the hair system, just to bleach those, bleach those knots at the front. I think it'd be a nightmare doing it further back because you have to try and avoid as much as possible getting it on the hair. You just wanna be basically dying as close to the roots as possible. Lastly, it also comes with this, which is called a color after treatment. I assume that's with purple pigments. So I've seen that's almost like a sort of uh, purple pigments. It doesn't really explain what it is, but I, I may even not use it. I might use it. I think it's like purple shampoo. Right, so this is where it could get really messy, so I'm gonna move into the bathroom. Guys, the lighting is way better in here. Good, because this is where we're gonna be doing the dyeing. So I've got my system, I've got my applicator. I forgot to mention, you have to give this a really good shake. You have to shake it all together, because otherwise uh, it's just gonna appear like three layers. You're gonna have the white, then the blue, then the white again and you're not gonna get, you're not gonna get a good dye. So give that a really good shake until it's like a, I suppose it's like a purpley, bluey color. Um, I've got my gloves as well. Before I get into doing this, I've got one glove. There's my other glove. Right, so before I get into this, I wanna to explain to you guys about bleach knots and raise a few things about hair system suppliers. Uh, raise some questions more than anything. Uh, if there's any hair system suppliers watching this, why don't you bleach knots for polys? Maybe someone knows the answer. I don't know the answer. Maybe it's because they don't want to assume uh, of what the person's skin tone is because obviously when you're bleaching knots, uh, it's good to have a, an idea of what the person's skin tone is uh, so that the bleach knots look as invisible as possible. They do seem to do it with lace though. So I've always wondered why don't you do it with poly? There must be a valid reason. Um, but it'd be great, you know, if they could do it more because obviously if you've got the option between bleach knots from a factory or non-bleach knots, you're gonna pick bleach knots every day of the week. Now remember guys that this is a poly, it's not a lace base. You can't bleach knots with a poly the same you would a lace. So if you had a lace base, for instance, uh, you would naturally turn the system upside down like this and you would literally just bleach the lace from the first inch towards about here. The first inch of the system, you bleach the underside because that's where the knots are. You can actually access them. With poly, obviously, you can't do that because there's no, there's no knots on this side. Um, and the problem is with poly, obviously, because they don't bleach the knots, at the factory, you will never get to the actual root. You'll never get to the root um, of where the knots are in this because they're sort of like they're V-looped in as it were. 
So you can't actually, there will always be a little black bit. Let me take this off the thing. There will always be a little black bit um, where the roots are on a poly base. I'm gonna turn the camera around because the camera on the other side is actually a lot better and you might be able to pick up the lack of. So I'm gonna be showing you a close up of the knots and it's pretty obvious here at the front of the system. And it's pretty obvious that obviously these aren't bleached. Um, as I said, for some reason, suppliers, they just, the factories, they just don't bleach them. You get it with some lace. Quite often you have to request it with some lace, but you just don't get it at all with poly. Uh, so if you want bleached knots and you're wearing a poly, at the moment you have to do it yourself, um, which is a bit annoying and it takes time to do. I'd much rather the factories did it themselves, but you know, who knows? We might get it in time. There might be a, a valid reason for it as well. But anyway, I'm gonna be doing it myself. But as you can see, they kind of look like, let me zoom out a bit. It looks like train track lines, tram lines even, that go back through the system. And this is what we're gonna be trying to bleach. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the first, the front inch of the hair system. I don't wanna go any further back than that because, <sighs> It's hard, um, you don't need to as well. People will only see the front if you've got your hair up, they'll only see the front of the system. Um, but also you want to be, when you're doing this bleaching process, you wanna be avoiding as much of the hair as possible because if you start bleaching all of the hair, then it's gonna go, you know, blonde and it's just gonna look really, really silly and, or gingerish even, and you might have to just chuck the system and you don't wanna do that. So from about here, I'm gonna whack an Alice band there to keep this hair away from where I'm going to be bleaching the system because I don't want to be getting any of this this hair bleach. I just want to be bleaching the base at the front and the idea is or the hope is that I'll be able and it won't be perfect but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get the bleach just along the sort of base. You'll never be able to because the hair itself is effectively v-looped into this system in the factory it means that you will never be able to get to that hair at the very root because it's already been looped in so there will always be it's never going to be perfect is what i'm saying there will always be there's little black bits at the bottom which you just won't be able to get to because it's already in the polyurethane so you just won't be able to get to that it will never be absolutely perfect the only way it could be perfect is if the factories did it themselves and they bleached the very root of the hairs before they looped it into the system. Right, we are prepped. We've got the Alice band on. We have the applicator bottle, bottle ready. So, and I've got my gloves, I've got my gloves on. So apologies if you hear some rattling, that is the gloves. Forgive me. Right. What do you think of this hair? It's a bit 80s, isn't it? Spiky on the top. Anyway, let's do this. So, I'm hopeful. This stuff stinks, by the way. Right, so that is applied to the base at the front. Comes out like a sort of blue color. And I'm gonna leave that to sit for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna fully wash it out and see what it looks like. But I'm hoping we're gonna have some decently bleached knots at the front. Right guys, so I've left it on for 18 minutes, the dye, and then I washed it out, 
and then I use a little bit of uh, purple color shampoo on it as well. Just left that in for about three minutes. And now I'm gonna show you the finished product. Okay guys, so you get the brush out. I'm just gonna brush it down. So this is the front of the system where the knots at the base have been bleached. As you can see, that's where some of the bleaching has happened, but you can't see those tram lines anymore because they've been bleached, which is what we wanted. So it's gonna look like the hair is actually coming out of your scalp. And obviously I've done this across the front of the system, the first inch of that base, okay? Now obviously when you're doing this, you don't want to be getting bleach on the middle or the end of the hair. Actually, you wanna be avoiding as much hair as possible. We don't really wanna be bleaching much of the hair at all. We just really wanna be bleaching down where the base is. So this is definitely an art, and I'm definitely gonna practice it a little bit more before I actually do it on a system which I'm currently wearing, but I just wanted to give you a comparison. So let me, this is the back of the system, which obviously hasn't been bleached. So we can make, a decent comparison. So let's zoom in on this. Now look, straight away, you can see those railway lines, which is what you get when you first get a system, usually a poly, sometimes lace as well, because I didn't bleach it sometimes. This is what it looks like at the front as well. And that is an indicator that it hasn't been bleached. And it means that if you want to have a natural hairline, you'll probably have to bleach it yourself. Okay, but you can see there the difference You've got the railway lines there, which make kind of obvious. And then you've got here, for instance, just the front. You can't see those lines because they've been bleached, okay? What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna comb it down. I'm also gonna put it on my skin and show you that so you can get, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother taking my current system off and putting this one on because I just don't have the time to do that but I will show it on my arm. So you'll be able to get an idea of, I'm just gonna put it actually on my fist. You'll be able to get an, an idea of what it looks like on skin. So as you can see here, that's on the skin and you can see now you don't have those railway line looking things or those sort of black dots because it's been bleached. So it looks much more like it's actually coming out of the scalp itself. So this is the kind of end result we wanted. So yeah, pretty happy with that. So that was it, first time bleaching system, and I didn't think I did too bad a job actually. It looks okay. I think I'm gonna do, because I'm quite a cautious individual, I think I will do a couple more times of, sort of using it on retired systems before I feel fully confident about using it on an actual system that I'm wearing. Talking of which, this system is a Levivid, uh, Louis see-through system. It's a, a poly thin skin. Um, you know where the discount code is, guys. It's in the description box below. 15% off if you would like to avail of that discount. Um, this system is a couple of weeks old. It's pretty new, actually. Um, and this system might actually be one of the ones, once I've retired it, that I will be doing some bleaching of knots at the front end. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you're enjoying my content and you'd like to check out more, I've got plenty of playlists on my channel. I'm gonna put one up on the screen right now, which you can check out. It's plenty of sort of hair system reviews. Uh, there's plenty of before and afters as well. So please do check that out. And I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you super soon. Till next time, bye for now.